I check in? I've been told I need to check in online. I don't know how to do this. I've never done it before. Hi, I'm Jan Obridge. I'm the Cruise Queen. When you book an MSC cruise, it's advisable to do online checking. And once you've got your um, invoice uh, from your, your travel agent, it will have your cruise identity number on. And all you do is you log on to uh, msccruises.co.uk and at the top on the right hand side, you'll find it says login. And if you click the login, it gives you two ways of logging in. One way is to log in with your username and password, which you can create, or you can log in with your booking number and your surname, um, and I think the date of your cruise. So um, uh, uh, that's what you do. You've, you get your number off the, the um, invoice from your travel agent, put that in, and it will take you into your booking. And there's a tab there that says web check-in. Go to web check-in and it will ask you for all your details. So your name, your address, your phone number, your email address, you, you know, your passport number, the, the, and all that kind of stuff. And the sooner you get that in, the sooner the job is out of the way. Now, sometimes it does play up a little bit and you'll come out and it'll go, uh, you haven't put all your details in. Well, go back in because it might be that it doesn't recognize something. Maybe you put your phone number in and put the zero in before the seven where you don't need to do that. Or um, once I went and it was like my county wasn't in um, or it didn't recognize my county. So just go back in and whatever is missing, it will come up with red, a red bit. Um, and then after that's done, you will at some stage be able to print off your documents. Printing off your documents is very simple, but it doesn't happen very quickly necessarily. If you've checked in now, or you've put all your details in now for a cruise in three months time, you probably won't be able to uh, print off your travel documents straight away. You'll need to wait till a bit closer to the time. Um, I don't know why, but I guess things might change and they need to change things, I don't know. But when you do print it off, a good idea is to print everything off, including your, um, your luggage tags. Now, what we do with luggage tags, we have a laminator, so we quite often laminate our luggage tags so they don't fall off. Um, but, you know, you can just print them off fold up the paper so it's nice and thick and then we always take with us a tiny stapler um, you can take sellotape but we have this tiny stapler you just hook it on clip it and it bobs your uncle it's done your luggage tags are done because you want to put those on as soon as you get off the plane at wherever it is you're going so that when you hand in your luggage it they're all labeled already otherwise you've got to hang around and they've got to get your cabin number and everything else so print your documents off Make sure you've got all your documents, everything you need, and make sure the details are exactly right. When you, when you check in, make sure the name on your passport is the name on the check-in. Otherwise, there'll be an error. Like, uh, I'm, I go by Jan, but on my passport, I'm Janet. Uh, my husband goes by Alan, has all his life, but on his passport, you'll kill me for telling you, he's Francis. Um, so when you're checking in online, you've got to put your full name as on your passport. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. And so um, you, uh, and you'll have problems. You'll have to change it again. Um, we, we had an issue where um, uh, my grandsons uh, have double barrel names and we hadn't put that in but on their passport they've got the two names so we had to go back and change it to make sure that the name was exactly as it was on the passport so you do do make sure that you do because if you're not fantastic or above you'll have to pay 50 pounds for that um, but once you've got it put all your documents in one place we have a little wallet a little 
I actually think we got it from MSC many years ago. Um, we have a little wallet and my husband keeps everything. He writes on the top of it what it is. So we have the, the transfers, we have the car park, we have um, the passports go in the front. We've got any information we need. If we've got anything, if we've got visas for anything, they go in there. Uh, whatever we need and all the stuff for um, going on to the um, the website uh, onto the the ship anything we need for registering to get on board ship is all in that wallet and uh, and he keeps that uh, and everything is kept in there because then you're not scrambling around looking for it there's nothing worse than you get to the port and you've forgotten something so it's all in the all in this wallet whatever wallet you have it doesn't matter whatever way you have it doesn't matter i think last time he had a folder with it all in and uh, uh, um, uh, that was his last way of doing things but i don't i don't worry it's his business he takes care of it looks after all the passports looks after all the paperwork and so um that's taken care of and the sooner you get that done the sooner you'll be able to print it all off and uh, and you don't have to do it in color even if it's on color on online, you don't have to do it in color, but just print it off and it'll be um, available to you. So that's uh, that's no hassle then. So hopefully that's useful. Press the button below for subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know when I'm posting again. I'm Jan Obridge. I'm the Cruise Queen. Have a brilliant week. Bye.